Hello everyone, FedEx Gaming here and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing how to build a pressure plate piston elevator. Now, if you've noticed something, it looks pretty much similar to my simple piston elevator and that's where I got the idea. This thing is exactly the same as the simple piston elevator. However, it no longer needs the updating piston. As you can see, it's a lot more compact. It's only too wide and it uses pressure plates. Now, that's my biggest concept with this thing is to use pressure plates. However, the main thing I don't like about this thing is it is butt ugly. This thing is an ugly looking elevator. I've built plenty of elevators on my channel before, and I gotta say this is definitely taking the cake for being one of the ugliest looking elevators. However, due to its compactness and its lack of resources, I highly recommend building this thing early on in Minecraft if you're looking to build a piston elevator. So all you have to do is come right here to the middle, hit these two pressure plates, do not fall in the water, hit these two pressure plates, you have to be right in the middle or else you won't get elevated up. So we'll hit the two pressure plates, get elevated all the way to the top, pushed out, and now we can go ahead and do whatever we want to do right here. Once we are done, fall right here into the water. A lot of people don't like the water, but I like it because you get down so fast. You go right down to the bottom. You can have the option to make something so you could push out the pistons. As you can see, you have a lot of room to work down here, guys, because all it is is a torch ladder going to the top. Now, it works exactly the same as my simple piston elevator, in which if you want to make this thing go to the sky barrier, you're going to need a hopper timer. Now, unlike my simple piston elevator, I will be showing how to build the hopper timer this time. So if you did not know how to build the hopper timer in the simple piston elevator, you can always go back and put it into that one as well. So we're going to come right here, stand right in the middle, and we're going to hit these pressure plates and get elevated to the top. Now, like any other piston elevator, you have to be in the middle for this type of one. And two, don't look around. Do not look around if you're on the console or you will fall through the pistons. And also, you can't build these on multiplayer servers. People say they won't work on their friend servers. You can't. It's pretty much just a thing to build in your world. Now, the reason for that is because we need dedicated servers. <laughs> we reached the top already. We need dedicated servers so we can actually build our elevators on our friend's world because then everything will be working off your internet and not your friend's internet. But we're going to have to wait a little bit longer thanks to those hopper timers. And then when we're ready to go down, we're going to go like this. And we're going to go all the way to the bottom having a seizure because this is hurting my eyes very badly. And we're going to hit the water and survive because that's just how Minecraft works. If you hit one block of water holding A, you should survive the fall. So let's go ahead and start building this thing, guys, because as you can see... All it is is a torch ladder. That's all it is. It's a simple torch ladder and a few pressure plates. So for this build, you're going to need a two by five spacing, and you're also going to have to dig down three. Now, if you're wondering why I dug out that extra little area on the side right there, that's in case you're going to be making this thing go pretty close to the sky barrier or at least halfway. That's for the hopper timer. If you're not going to be building the hopper timer, you're going to make this elevator pretty small. Then don't worry about that side at all. Now, the resources you're going to need for this build are two sticky pistons, two regular pistons, two redstone torches, one redstone dust, two pressure plates, and two oak fences. Now, that's just for one layer. So, if you're going to be making this thing go up five times, then you're going to have to times all those resources by five because that's just one layer of the elevator. Now, if you're going to be building the simple input, this is just for a small elevator, not one going towards the sky barrier. You're going to need three redstone repeaters four redstone dust, one redstone torch, and two pressure plates. Now, if you want to make this thing go pretty high, you want to make it go woo all the way to the top and be awesome and all that good stuff, you're going to need at least one sticky piston, one piston, two hoppers, two redstone comparators, one block of redstone, four redstone dust, five redstone repeaters, and at least 25 items. I highly recommend using dirt because that is the easiest thing you're going to get. That's going to be for our hopper timer. So once you have gotten your two by five spacing and you have dug down your three, come to the bottom of it and we're going to place two blocks right here. One, two, put two pieces of redstone dust on top of them. One, two, place two blocks of choice above these two pieces of redstone dust. So one, two, and then place two pressure plates above those blocks. And that's going to be the input for our elevator. So once we hit these, our elevator is going to start making us go all the way up. Next off the right hand side of the redstone dust. So this one right here, we're going to place in two pieces of redstone dust. One, two. Put a repeater going this way on four ticks delay with a block in front of it and a redstone torch on top of the block, a block above the redstone torch, and then another redstone torch on top of this block. It should go off. So now if we hit these pressure plates, this torch should come on and that one should go off. So boop, as you can see, that one went off and that one came on. And if we get off of it, that one comes back on and that one goes off. Now off of this side with this redstone dust, we're going to place in two repeaters going this way. One, two, put them both on four ticks delay with a block in front of it and then a piece of redstone dust in front of that block. Now that's going to be our simple input. This is in case you're going to be making this elevator go, let's say, uh, that high. Like if you want to make this elevator go like 10 blocks or maybe even 15, then that's the input you want right there. Now I'm going to show how to do the hopper input later on, but we're going to go ahead and build our elevator first. I want to show you guys how to make the layers. So coming off of this off torch right here, we're going to place in two pistons, well, sticky pistons, facing towards your pressure plates, and then we're going to place in two pistons facing upwards, one, two. Then right on top of this off torch, we're going to place a block 
Oh, well, we're going to have to put one to the side too, but put a block right above the off torch and then a block next to this sticky piston with a piece of redstone dust like that. And that's literally it, guys. So if I hit these pressure plates, boop, as you see, it pops up and then these extend up. And then when I let go, it pops back and then it goes back and retracts. Next, we're going to go ahead and put two fence posts right above these pressure plates and place in another layer of pressure plates and now we're going to literally do the same exact thing over and over again guys it's that easy so just put a torch to the side of this one off the block put a block above the redstone torch and then we're going to go ahead and put another redstone torch off this side it should go off take out your sticky pistons place in two sticky pistons one two pistons facing upwards one two then we're going to place another block above this off torch a block to the side and another piece of redstone dust like that and there's another layer completely done so all you have to do is put two fence posts here and then put two pressure plates like that and that's literally it guys that's another layer completely done so let's go ahead and actually place two blocks right here and two blocks like that and we can go ahead and test it out real quick so come right here stand in the middle hit it and we should get elevated twice so one two and we get elevated all the way to the top and then it goes back so now i'm going to bring my elevator up three more layers so what i want you to do is if you're going to follow along it's very easy to put your layers in guys so we're going to go ahead and start off with our torch ladder so go ahead and put a torch here put a block above the on torch put a torch aside so there's another layer so that's one more layer then we're going to put a block above the off torch torch to the side block above the on torch and then we're gonna go ahead and put another torch aside and there's our second layer so there's one two more layers then we're gonna put a block above the torch torch to the side block above this torch and put another torch and there's our third layer so each layer can be indicated by our off torches so there's one two three and five in total so coming off this off torch we're gonna place in two sticky pistons one two and place two pistons facing upwards one two and we're gonna do it again one two and then two pistons facing upwards like so and then once more one two and then two pistons facing upwards now we're going to come back here and next to every piston off the side we're going to place another block one two three place redstone dust on top of them one two three and then off this last one place another block above here and there is five layers done so now we have to come over here and place in our piss well our pressure plates not our pistons we're going to place in our pressure plates like this with our fence so there we go and you know when you reach the top when your pressure plates are even with the piston so there is five layers completely done so we go right here and we hit our pressure plates we should get elevated up five times one two three four five all the way until the top so once you feel like you have reached the point where you want to stop your elevator just come right here and place in two more fence posts above your pressure plates then we're going to come over here and go up one more time so the torch to the side block above the torch like that there we go and then another torch to the side the torch should go off place two sticky pistons in facing towards your fence post with two blocks of choice i'm going to be using quartz as my walling this is going to be your walling block of choice so place in your two walling blocks put a block of ooh, i just got rid of my block so let's go ahead and put a block right above this off torch block to the side and redstone dust so what this is going to do is once we reach the top of our elevator which we feel like we've gotten all the way to the top the part we want to go to this will push us off the elevator so if i come down here and we're going to hit our pressure plates so we've got elevator five times one two three four five and then this should push you off your elevator so you don't accidentally fall back down there and well die you will die if you fall well not from this height but depending on how high you go you don't want to take a good moderate amount of damage and that is it guys you are completely done so all you have to do is just clean up the top area by putting in some blocks of choice i'm just going to put some smooth sandstone around here and then i'm going to show you how to extend it up in case you want to make this thing go extremely high i'm going to show you how to build that hopper timer but let's go ahead and do it one more time so come down here hit it we should go all the way to the top to our top thing and then we can go do whatever we want to do and then we're going to put our water in here later on after we put in our hopper timer so it's time to build our hopper timer now so we're going to come right down here and we're going to delete a few things so we have to delete this piece of redstone dust we're going to have to delete this block these two repeaters and this block of redstone dust and this block right here so it should look something like that right now next we're going to come over three blocks from this block so one two three and place down a piece of redstone dust here delete out these four blocks one two three four so with the hopper timer you're going to have to delete down at least four blocks for your hopper timer then going into this block right here we're going to place a comparator next place a block behind your comparator with a hopper going into the back of the block come up here delete this block go into sneak mode and place in another hopper going into the side of this hopper so now we have these two hoppers funneling into each other then right above this comparator place in a sticky piston going towards your hopper then coming out of this hopper right here we're going to place another comparator going this way with a piece of redstone dust in front of it and then a piston above this comparator facing inwards towards your hopper then in front of your sticky piston place in your redstone block and then coming into this hopper right here we're going to place in our 25 items so place in whatever items you got i chose dirt because it's the easiest one to get so now this is going to activate our hopper timer and all the items are going to funnel in towards the bottom of this hopper right here so let's just wait till it's done funneling as you can see it'll completely funnel in and then it should turn off so boop and as you can see everything turned off 
then coming out of where this hopper right is going into this repeater we're going to place another repeater like this and set it to four ticks delay make sure these are both on four ticks delay if this one is even off one tick your elevator will not work next we're going to come right over here and place a block right in here and place a block right above this redstone dust like this and then put another piece of redstone dust in like that now if you've noticed nothing is hooked up to your hopper timer as you can see this is going into a blank block right here but how this hopper timer works is if this piston gets updated then it turns on so this redstone dust right here and here is close enough to update this sticky piston so if i come right up here and i hit any one of these pressure plates it should update your hopper timer so boop, as you see our hopper timer activates and what that's going to do is keep our pistons extended for a longer period of time because on the console retracting pistons generates a lot of lag it generates a lot of lag and that's why you will fall through the pistons if you're trying to go to the sky barrier with this thing without the hopper timer but that is it guys you built the entire hopper timer so now all we have to do is just clean up this little area like this boop, doop, 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 doop. there we go and now we can go ahead and test it out so boop hit the middle we'll get extended all the way to the top boop and if you have this thing going to the sky barrier as you can see this will stay extended out for a much much longer period of time so this will give us enough time to reach all the way to the sky barrier however once that hopper timer turns off then all the pistons will retract and then we should have our block of water right down here now to add in your water all you have to do is delete this block and then come up two blocks right here this will activate your hopper timer so boop and boop and as you heard our timer turned on so now we're going to take out our bucket of water place it in right here and that is it guys the elevator is completely done so now that our water is in let's go ahead and test it out one more time so we're going to jump right here stand in the middle of the water in the block hit the pressure plates and we should get extended all the way to the top and now what we have to do is just wait for our pistons to get retracted back in this is just for people that are making this thing go much higher if you didn't do that then you should already retract it back in but once everything retracts back in we can now go down into our water and leave our elevator but there you guys have it that is how you build a pressure plate piston elevator so if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace